Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So today we're going to be going over the market, talk about what happened, what we can expect for the rest of the week and all of that good stuff. So as usual, if you guys enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button, but let's just jump right into it. Tesla ended the day down about two and a half percent, which closes us uh, just shy of $850. So what happened and what can we expect? So like I said, you know, I'm not necessarily fully bearish or fully bullish. Uh, I, I did say how I am slightly more bearish than bullish. And this is kind of the move I was waiting for. I was waiting for around the 840s, uh, mainly because if you go on the daily, you can see it kind of, you know, Again, my, that's not like my line's the most pic, you know pixel perfect line in existence. It's just this general area, but it kind of comes down to almost retest this breakout that it initially had. Now, what I personally think will happen is mainly because the RSI is actually not looking that great anymore. It's actually you can see here, it made a lower low, which isn't good. Uh, you don't want to see that. But regardless, personally, what I expect to see happen right now, short term, because we have CPI tomorrow. Again, you know this can change. Not financial advice. Do your own research. Make your own decisions. But I personally think we're going to get a very small rally. A, not a big rally again a very small rally potentially like maybe a two-day rally maybe like wednesday thursday or something like that give or take uh, i expect a small rally a small bounce you know in the indexes and tesla and don't forget by the way guys spy did actually fall out of this wedge that i was talking about so i wouldn't be surprised if we get a small rally tomorrow to somewhere around like maybe 413 you know nothing too crazy and then i think tesla might get a nice little recovery or rally potentially again you know somewhere around this kind of maybe 870 potentially level if we're lucky but I wouldn't expect uh, too much higher than that. But I would not be shocked if Tesla potentially revisits uh, 870. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, again, like I said, on the daily, right, going back to it very quickly, ultimately what we have is a confirmation, well, not, a, I mean, sort of a confirmation of the breakout uh, retest, which so far is not too bad. But again, like I said, because RSI made a lower low over here, even though the stock uh, did not go lower than this over here, obviously. So even though the stock is technically making a higher low here, the RSI is making a lower low, that's a bearish divergence, right? Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, we're just instantly dropping the next day or something like that, especially on the daily. It's a little bit more of a lagging indicator or like, I guess, a forward-looking indicator, which to me at the moment tells me that we're most likely going to be back into a downtrend uh, probably in about a week or two, uh, something like that. It could be faster. This market tends to move sometimes really, really fast. So, you know, again, you know, take it as you will. But the point is, is the fact that at some point relatively near in the future, I do expect uh, essentially pain to come to the markets and uh, most likely a decent amount of pain, too. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, moving over to the one hour chart before we go back to the daily to look at the indicators, uh, same, somewhat of a similar concept. Now, initially, when Tesla this morning came down to this level over here, it actually saw, uh, was creating a bullish divergence and then it had a bounce and everything and actually was looking quite good. I'm like, wow, OK, this is perfect. Tesla's having a, you know, a short term bullish divergence is, you know, giving me more confidence that we're probably going to get a very short term rally again within the next you know, couple of days or so. Unfortunately, then it showed a bit more weakness and then the RSI ended up actually making, in fact, a lower low as well, even on the shorter time frame, which isn't really what you want to be seeing, right? Same thing if you go in the 15 minute, it's looking a little bit better now in the 15 minute, you can see here, even though it's kind of chilling around this lower level here, you know, on the 15 minutes, actually looking a little better. This is a little bit more of a bullish divergence. So you can see as the RSI came all the way here and went all the way down to these low points of around 21, 22, we came lower on the stock, but this RSI did not go lower than this. It only came down to like 26, right? That right there is a bullish divergence, which again, on a very short time frame, again, this is the 15 minute time frame. What this tells me is the fact that there's, you know, a, a decent chance in my opinion, not financial advice, again, make your own research or decisions, do your own research. Now we might get a rally, a little bit of a rally, a little bit of a bounce tomorrow, maybe Thursday as well, and then potentially uh, follow through with some pain and more overall downside, right? So that's kind of what that's signifying to me, right? Again, very short term rally, very short lived in my opinion as well. Um, most likely again to around maybe 870. I wouldn't expect a too much higher than that. And even 870 is already potentially looking a little bit, uh, you know, ambitious, if you will. So. I personally would see if, you know, not financial advice, again, if you're holding shares or whatever, you're looking to trade, if it comes back to 870, if you already bought somewhere here or whatever, whatever, and if it comes down around to this kind of, you know, 875-ish level, let's just say, give or take like five points, I will personally be looking to either sell calls or just sell the shares. Again, make your own decisions, guys. It's your money. I don't want to tell you what to do. That's just my personal opinion. But going back to the daily, taking a very quick look at the indicators, you can see we're starting to get uh, caught up over here by the 21 EMA, which we're kind of almost bouncing off of, right, which is going to start getting more interesting. Uh, you can see we're starting to approach the white line as well, which is very close to the 21 EMA, right? So that's also getting interesting. It's still well above the 50-day moving average. Wouldn't be surprised if we at some point, as it kind of starts following us up, come back and retest it somewhere around the 
7.80 level probably near the end of the month, closer to the end of the month, uh, maybe in the last week of the month or something like that, right? That wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. Uh, the 200 moving average, was, we are still, of course, below that, still getting rejected by that from the previous days. And then the 10 and the 5, you can see we are currently getting rejected by that as well. So ultimately, guys, I am starting to lean more bearish than bullish on Tesla. Again, that doesn't mean that we can't get a potential, you know, one or two day rally still, which I still think we actually might get. I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket banking on that or anything like that. I did enter a small bullish position um, banking on that essentially for this week. Uh, and if we do get it, I will be exiting it. But again, you know, it's just like a it's not like a ridiculously small position, but, you know, relative to my portfolio, it's not like a big position either. It's, you know, it's a it's an OK position. Let's just say that. Uh, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Right. It is what it is. Uh, but essentially what I did was I sold an 810 put for this Friday. So as long as Tesla doesn't pretty much end below 800, roughly, um, I'm OK. But if we ever if Tesla does fall below 800 by this week or if we don't get any green at all and we just completely plummet straight down from here on out and for the rest of the week, then I will be, of course, under the water for that specific play. But that's fine, because if we do fall, then I will be selling more puts just further down. So I will still capitalize on the move downwards regardless in other ways. So I'm OK with that. But that's kind of what I'm seeing at the very moment. Ladies and gentlemen, again, ultimately, I am a net bearish short term i believe that there is going to be potentially a small rally taking a quick look at the vix you can see it is starting to show a little bit of bounce potential here so i expect the vix to maybe go a little bit sideways potentially actually rally tomorrow based on what the cpi comes out with you can see it's really trying to find some footing here and some you know some area essentially to really get a nice kind of bounce off of which i think it will it's just maybe not going to be necessarily like you know tomorrow it could be but ultimately i personally am net bearish and yeah so that's kind of what i'm thinking guys again you know, I'll be very careful in this market at the very moment. Uh, again, mainly also because the SPY has fallen out of its wedge that I was talking about, its ascending wedge. Uh, again, I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow we come up to maybe retest it one more time around this 413-ish level, give or take. Uh, most likely get rejected. I'll be pretty surprised if it doesn't. But, you know, we'll see what happens, of course. We'll come to it as it happens, if it happens. And we will, of course, revisit it. But like I said, remember how yesterday I drew kind of what I thought might happen? Uh, I, I drew something like this. This is essentially what's happening. So I'm again wouldn't be too surprised to see a potential rally tomorrow. Maybe get some you know bull traps going, and then a, maybe a sell off uh, following that. Maybe like on you know Friday, maybe even Thursday, but maybe Friday. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm seeing at the moment, guys. Uh, again, be careful. This is a, a, a market that you don't want to get bagged in, in my opinion. Not financial advice, of course, as usual. But yeah, uh, people are probably still wondering, you know, do I still have my price target? Do I, am I still expecting Tesla to drop down uh, ultimately to, you know, like the f kind of, let's say, 550 to 450-ish range? Let's just say 500-ish range, give or take 50 points. Yes, I absolutely am. I'm still personally waiting for that to really go like extremely heavy. If that's, of course, does a stock split, we'll divide that by three, and that's going to be the target price uh, well, not if it does a stock split, when it does a stock split, which, by the way, is going to be this month. It'll be on the 25th of August, which is a Thursday, is when Tesla does a three for one stock split. So uh, hopefully it doesn't mess up the chart too much. because that's It's kind of annoying when they do that because only be, only just for charting, mainly because it just kind of messes up the chart a little bit, makes it a little more confusing. Sometimes you have to kind of recalibrate it almost a little bit annoying, but we'll come to that when it becomes an issue. But yeah, ultimately, guys, that's what I'm seeing at the very moment. Uh, let me know what you think down below. You can see the volume today was very mediocre. Not bad, but not great. You know, it was all right on a selling day, too. So uh, pretty neutral, in my opinion, uh, volume. Um, still overall, ultimately, you know, some fairly bearish candles. Um, but again, wouldn't be surprised if we get a bit of green in the next couple of days into essentially a massive sell-off. So that's pretty much what I'm seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget Tesla, if you look at on the weekly, which is a better way to indicate the overall trend that we're in, we're still making higher, uh, sorry, lower lows and lower highs, right? So we have a high here, then we have a low here. We have a lower high, lower low, and this is potentially right here setting out to be a lower high once again, and then potentially another lower low, which will pretty much put us around this general range of, again, that 550 to 450 range. Anywhere in that is where I'm personally going to be accumulating quite aggressively. Um, and yeah, and then I think from there, that should be the final, the bottom, if you will, uh, as far as I'm, you know, I guess, guessing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I see so far. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully it's useful. Hopefully you guys find this informative. If you do, please don't forget to hit that like button. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Again, CPI is tomorrow. Going to be pretty wild, pretty important. So until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.